Yo, what's up everyone? It's your favorite mentor, your one and only Forex Zero. I go by the name of Offense a little. And today I'll be showing you just the high win rate strategy that I found here on TradingView. You'll be able to analyze and be able to see the chances that the mistakes that you've been making uh, by analyzing into the Forex market. So always remember that whenever you're trading, you need to be aware that you are putting money that you are willing to lose so that that uh, makes it uh, better for your understanding and you're able to train your psychology but before we get much deeper please do not forget to click the like click the subscribe and notification bell so that you get notified every time i drop a new video as you know me offense let's go into the charts Yes, I'm on the chat, guys. I want to show you something because you need to be aware that not all trades will go in your way. This is this is what we analyzed last week, and I showed you guys that I'm expecting the market to break below here. But you can see I was expecting to sell here, but that didn't happen. We had a push to the upside because of this move. I believe well, so. Even this one. Two. There's a the the the, the factors and pushed further up, and then what did it do? It created, if you can see, let me remove this. If you can see coming from here, it had the what an impulse, impulse correction, impulse. As you can see, this is what you. You will take advantage of instead, but always remember whenever you are taking your trades, always apply risk management. So let's make go to the higher time frame structure so that we can see that how you can keep be capitalized and also get your bigger breakthrough from forex trading. So let, just by Looking at this, you need to be aware of what is currently happening. I, from foremost, I can be able to spot. Okay, let me remove. I'm gonna remove all three. I can be able to spot everything. So sometimes you do know that uh, we don't use indicators, but I just want to show you something. Looking at this. Uh, indicator here a moving average which is period 21. i want to show you that you can use it to your advantage by identifying what the trend so if you didn't know what trend is you could see that we are in a what in a uptrend because what the 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 moving average is set in this way and you are having price moving something like this you understand so you can at most see that Yes, we are indeed in a what? In a uptrend because of price is being pushed to the upside and price is still above the moving average. So let's look at uh, what is currently happening. Yes, we could see that we're in an uptrend and then I'm gonna, oops, I'm gonna remove, okay, fine. Now, if I take this, right, and then, I'm on daily and then I take this. I can actually see what is currently happening here now because the market gave me an indication that the market gave me a condition that we are indeed pushing to the upside why as you can see we are having this move right and then what i'll come back again and can do this one so i could see that we are pushing to the upside and if i use my moving average which is pro 29 it's still confirming that we are still pushing to the upside and then i remove this one then i use and check with my period nine which is the red one i can see here so i don't use the indicators 
uh, to trade, but I can use them as a guideline just to confirm and be uh, aware. Actually, more confirmations are better. So by me looking at this, I'm looking at this point that's coming. We have to come here. And then after passing this point, then I'm looking at coming further up. Fine. So on the smaller time frames, we can have those movements that will certainly something like this. But you need to be aware that this is not a trend. A trend is something that we can see that in the long run, we have to push to the upside. So let me go to four hour. I mean, to four hour, I can see that we are having, okay, we are having a double top here. You understand? More like an M formation. This this is what is currently happening. Huh? So M, something like this. So with this happening, I can safely say that the market will tend to push a little bit down before we push to the upside because this point is very much strong because you can see it doesn't want to break. But should the market come back here at this point break, I will expect the retest above this before I can say now we are continuing to buy. So you need to have confirmations in place. I need to be aware. I'm not going to just buy because I see a correction. I have to break here, retest, and then that's when I'll take it. Uh, further up knowing that now it's pushing to the upside because the very same thing that happened here you can see it happened at most here you can see what happened here the market pushed and then dropped so it's possible that we can have a certain drop coming here before we can push to the upside something like this understand so just need to be aware what is currently happening here. Don't rush. Make sure you are aware of the market manipulation. The market that will simply get you into taking the wrong trades. Market manipulation, it's there. So with this, I can safely say that we reached our 90% rule. We reached our 90 percent rule coming from here. You can see we reached this point here, but this one was a little bit steep. But regardless, it still followed the the right um, plan because you can see even this one impulse, then correction impulse. So you can see that we are having this impulse correction impulse. Uh, with this one, so even this one, I can see that we are hitting something. Yeah. So I'll take this. Uh, so do you see how you could have capitalized on this one? So always remember, this is pound AUD and it's very much volatile. So I'm looking at having uh, a movement here. Understand? My, 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 my gut feeling tells me it's going to push further down before we can go to the, what? To the upside. So you need to be aware of the... Trades that you take, you don't just take trades for the sake of trading. You need to be aware because we can break here. We can break. We can break here, something like this, before we push down. But also, if we break and retest here, I'm definitely buying. So just need to be aware of those scenarios that happen from time to time. Let's go to 15 minutes. I want to see. Oh, yes. So can you see we are having certain sign that we want to push up, but I'll wait for the break. That's my, my, my given. I'll wait for the reduced risk entry before I can enter. Because I know for sure this point is very much strong because 
it's possible that I can buy here and then reach this point before the market decides what, before the market decides to push to the downside. So I need to be aware, I need to train my mind and be able to know what I'm waiting for. I don't just dive in into any situation. So you need to be aware of getting those uh, high win rate ratios and also capitalize on them. So let's look at this one, you can see here you had a point whereby you could see that okay fine uh i'm pushing to the upside here in a matter of a what a correction but i'm only gonna sell on it once it breaks so we had this type of and then it broke then you sell then it pushed uh to the downside so can you see so your cell will, will be here. You can still sell here at the peak, but your utmost sell will definitely be around that point. So you can that could share this high win rate strategy with you guys. Make sure you apply it. Wait for the market to break. You can never be late in the market. Wait for the break for confirm entry. Take the trade. For me, your favorite mentor, your one and only Forex Zero. I go by the name of Fensele Catch me in the next video. Peace.